I am going to show you the easiest way to create your first MCP server. It will happen with one prompt file and a few clicks. Let's jump into it. This is Visual Studio Code, and this right here is GitHub Copilot. These are two of the greatest tools ever created. Now, let's verify a couple things. Let's go into extensions. And the only ones you're going to need for this tutorial are Copilot MCP, GitHub Copilot, and GitHub Copilot chat. There are other requirements, but the prompt will guide and have you install those additional requirements. So let's go back. Let's look at this prompt file. We are definitely not going to read it all because it's 582 lines. And you'll notice it's the only file right now in this entire folder. So let's just get started and use this thing. And the way you do is you hit pound and then you reference the file, my first MCP server.md and hit enter. And now it's going to follow that 582 line prompt. You will have to hit continue several times throughout this process, but it's going to go ahead and try to create our MCP server. Okay, so it completed um, and now it says it's running and we need to configure it within Visual Studio Code. So we open the command palette, which is control shift P and we go to MCP add server. And we select this command st dio option. And then let's copy this part. And we'll select the default for that server name. And let's make this global. All right, and so it says it's running. And so at this point, let's see what's configured here. And you can see that now we have our MCP server and it's got a calculator, a file explorer, a random generator, and system info. So let's let's ask it um, generate some random data. So as I can see you testing it, let me use the random generator tool we built. Great, so it's working correctly. It returns me random numbers and random strings and random UUID, booleans, etc. Great, so let's try another one. Let's try... Um, Tell me about my system information. How old is my computer? Okay, great. So it's hitting the correct system information MCP action. It tells you what my computer CPU is. So it tells me the age. It's pretty old. It's 11 to 12 years old. Go to this URL if you want to try the prompt file. It will also be in the description of this video. Thank you very much.